So, um, I wasn't exp well, actually, that's a lie. I should have expected this. That's the better wording, is that I should have expected this. And, yeah, we got our next trailer for, uh, He-Man Revelation, or Masters of the Universe Revelation's second trailer, which gives us more, uh, it gives us a lot more to really chew on and really, uh, really dissect, and, yeah, so the, tra so the show is coming out on the 23rd of, of uh, July, which I think also is the date for the release of the second part of Batman Long Halloween. So July is going to be a big month for animation in general. Because I was looking at a lot of other stuff coming out, and I was like, man, animate. I was like, man, animation is like, imagine I'm holding like a piece of paper holding all the anime. Whatever, go along with the metaphor. Man, animation's really going to be big in, Janu in uh, July. So here we are now. So let's talk a bit about this second trailer for Masters of the Universe or He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Um, animation still looks great, and as said, as for said by uh, uh, Kevin Smith, he talked about how this show is a sequel to the '80s car uh, to the '80s cartoon and has its own little blend to it. It's all really cool. I wish this connected with She-Ra more, and I have a feeling it was supposed to connect with She-Ra. At least not, at least a she version of She-Ra. Not, uh, not like uh, it was connecting to Princesses of Power. I'm not saying that. Although I wish that was true, too. Um, so basically, in this show, uh, we've found out that Eternia is dying. And also, we get a bit of lore here that Eternia was was the first planet born in the universe. So, in a weird way, Eternia is like Oa. Um, you know how uh, Oa is the center of the universe, and if Oa dies in the DC universe, that universe will die. It, Oa, it will die there. So, it's not like with Earth, where Earth in the DC universe is the center of the multiverse. So if Earth dies, the rest of the multiverse dies. But if Oa dies, then that universe will die with it. So... Yeah, Eternia's ba that's the first thing I thought of when I saw that. I was like, oh, it's like Oa, which I guarantee you that was probably the idea because of how big of a, you know, nerd Kevin Smith is. So I guarantee you that was the thought process of making it, having the Oa comparison. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so magic is dying on Eternia. Eternia is losing its magic and the people are suffering and it's been a while and it also looks like there's been a new power struggle between Eternia and Snake Mountain. Basically, I, we haven't seen King Randor, which makes me wonder if Adam is in charge now or if there's just kind of like a um, schism in, uh, in, in there. But it ain't no schism over in uh, Snake Mountain because it looks like Triclops is in charge, which I was like, really? Triclops took over? Not Evelyn, although there has been a lot of like screenshots of like Evelyn fighting along, standing alongside Tila and the others. So it makes me wonder if Tila, if uh, if Evelyn is like changing, uh, like she switched sides, um, probably because she didn't want to serve under Triclops. So Triclops for right now is in charge. We do know Skeletor is coming. We do know that Skeletor is going to be in this show. And the Power Sword was destroyed in its final um, battle. But now it's been reborn as two swords. So now two people can wield it. Adam and Tila. Um, and Tila, like, this is where I, uh, where I start to believe that this was meant to have She-Ra in the show. But due to legal reasons, they just didn't have it. So I think... Uh, because again, like when Tila can now access the power of that of the uh, of Castle Grayskull, the word got away from me. So yeah, she can now access the power of Castle Grayskull, but what? But her armor is very much of Shira, so it does make me think: was 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 Adora supposed to be in here? But due to legal reasons, like, it's a weird thing. I don't understand why She-Ra and He-Man, even though they're in the same show, or they're in the same continuity, they have different legal... Re there's a different kind of legality, and I don't understand why. But it does make me think um, that, yeah, She-Ra was supposed to be in this show, but they switched it to Tila. And again, the armor does prove that. Um, so, yeah. 
I I think that's a cool idea of having because again, if anyone was any female warrior was going to have the power of of, of Castle Grayskull, it's Tila because a she's one of the best fe- warriors out there. Not just like female, but warriors in general, probably even stronger than Adam. Not when he's He-Man, of course. Um, and she's the daughter of the goddamn sorceress. You know the the person who guards the power, so it would make sense that she would get that power. Um, it w- yeah, it just makes sense. And I know someone, you know, some incels on the internet are going to be like, oh, this is so woke, you know. Why does Tila have to dress all up like an armor? Why can't she be all sexy and stuff? Like, so I can jack off and not be with my three-inch dick. Fuck you guys. But yeah, it's like, pe- I can already, like, almost hear people getting pissed off at the idea of Tila having any kind of power. And I'm like, did y'all, did y'all not, like, watch the original, like, the... The original show or the animated show like the animated 2002 reboot did did none of y'all watch the same show she was badass in both and I'm like this is just kind of like I feel like this is like the next step evo- like the next logical step in her character yeah of course she would have she would have the same power as He-Man at some point if not be his successor uh, which could happen in this show who knows whatever this is just part one which will probably focus more we do know Skeletor is here, but I, he's probably going to be, at least what I think is that he's probably going to be at the end of the show, end of part one, and the big villain is going to be Triclops, and him just basically being star... He's basically going to star scream it up, people. We already know. He's he's just going to star scream it up, and we all know what that means. If you're a diehard Transformers fan, you you are already aware of what star screaming it up mean it is uh, what all of that enthall, enthralls. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, like, it, like, I am really interested, because again, I, we haven't seen anything of Randor, at least as far as I've seen, and maybe I just missed it, we haven't seen anything of, uh, um, Adam's mother, we haven't, we haven't seen a lot of Man-at-Arms, we do know he's there, and it does look like a lot of the Masters of the Universe are gone, so maybe they got Order 66 during the war, like, between, uh, the two, uh, during the factions, between Snake Mountain and Eternia. Um, maybe they got... Because it is clear we do see one of the Masters of the Universe. I forget the skunk one. I forget his name. Stinkor? Yeah, I think it's Stinkor. Uh, he's, he gets he gets ganged up on. And I was like, oh. Were the other Masters hunted down? What happened to Mechanac or, Ch- or Manny Face or, you know, Manram? It does make me wonder, like, did the rest of them get Order 66 it, it does give me that thought. So it does, does give me that pause. But I'm really interested in this. Um, the animation looks great. And the fact that we're going to have like a dual, um, dual protagonist story between He-Man and Tila, re- I, I find that really cool. I'm really excited for Scareglow, obviously, because I'm such a Tony Todd fan. And um, Mark Hamill is already... I already know Mark Hamill's going to kill it as Skeletor. And... The voice cast is just perfect. Also, I want to say real quick, I completely forgot that it was Susan Eisenberg voicing the sorceress and not Cree Summer. I know that I said Cree Summer in my previous one, but I was like, I completely spaced. Because for some reason it just didn't click with me. Oh, that's not Cree Summer, that's Susan Eisenberg, you idiot. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a quick retraction on that. But anyway... So, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the new trailer for He-Man, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, He-Man Revelations or Mass of the Universe Revelations, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.